Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and in this video we shall understand how to develop voice recognition application using Shisha and also we shall understand how to provide artificial intelligence to our application. In order to work with voice recognition application we need to understand a couple of classes. To start with this, we need to use a class called this Speech Synthesizer. So what is Speech Synthesizer is? It is a class provides access to the functionalities of an installed speech synthesis engine along with that we need to understand a class called as prompt builder prompt builder is a class which creates an empty prompt object and provides methods for adding content selecting voices controlling voice attributes and also it is used for controlling the pronunciations of spoken words next we need to understand a class called as speech recognition engine provides the means to access and manage an in process speech recognition engine. We should also have an idea of a class called test choices which represents a set of alternatives in the constraints of a speech recognition grammar now let's try to start the demo for understanding how to use a c sharp windows forms application to recognize the voice so to start with this i open my visual studio dot net i say new project windows forms voice recognition demo app Now, for our visibility, let me just try to uh, increase the font size. Now, I try to take a text box. Where I provide a multi line. And also, I try to place two buttons, one to say start, another to say stop. Now first let's try to set the properties for these controls, what we have placed. The text box, I provide a name called as txt contents and um, multi line equal to true scroll bars I keep it as vertical for this button I give a text called as start so I say btn start next I try to provide a button to stop so I say btn stop and the text as stop in order to support speech recognition application we have to use a reference of system dot speech namespace so what I do is project menu add reference I search for system dot speech so we select system dot speech and I just click on ok once we added the reference of this, 
now let's try to start with our coding for the visibility let me increase the font size after all the using statements i say using system dot speech system dot speech dot synthesis as we need to support the recognition i also use system dot speech dot recognition and um, i take the support of system dot threading as well so once we have done with this in the form declarations let's try to define some global variables and the objects which you want to access throughout the first thing what i try to do is i create an object for the speech synthesizer next for the prompt builder i create an object and also i create an object for the speech recognition engine choices some particular c list so these are the variables and the objects which i just created now whenever the user is going to click on start my requirement is i just wanted to start the definitions so what i try to do is for the start button click i say btn start dot enable i make it as false and btn stop dot enabled i make it as true let us try to add the list of choices what we wanted to have so not to add the choices for our grammar i try to take a array of string where i just simply say some information like say hello how are you what is the current time i type in something like open chrome i say thank you and also say close so these are the list of choices which i am trying to provide it where this choices should be given as a grammar for our application so i say grammar gr equal to new grammar of i have to create an object for the grammar builder with the support of my list so once i prepared this now what i try to do is i try to take the support of try catch block and then let's try to first start our engine so i say sre request recognition update so whenever we just try to specify this particular option it is going to be useful for updating the details so i just say load grammar and i'm just trying to update my grammar details then sre dot if the word whatever we are going to speak if my system recognizes this word it raises an event called as speech recognized so i just try to attach an event handler for this whenever the speech has been recognized what you wanted to perform and then i try to set the input to the default audio device and i just try to make my system to recognize my words so i say recognized async and i just try to pass on the parameter recognize mode dot multiple if somewhere something goes wrong i just simply say message box ax dot message and i just specify the error now once the voice has been recognized it will enter into the speech recognized event where we would try to provide the artificial intelligence for our application i simply say e dot result dot text dot to string 
now in case if i say case hello i just simply say ss dot speak async hello shaker if the case is how are you i specify something like i am doing great shaker how about you i try to provide a cases what is the current time i simply say ss dot speak async and uh, i say current time is date time dot now dot too long time string i just try to provide break i say thank you i say ss dot speak i say pleasure is mine shaker i say open chrome then i say process dot star chrome and the default website i just wanted to open us shaker the guru dot net the case is close i simply say application dot exit and i can just say a break down so whatever might be the information that we are going to have it this information i would like to add it on to my contents so i say txt contents dot text plus equal to e dot result dot text dot to string and i just concatenate with a uh, environment dot new line. so that every uh, statement will be added to the new line so this is what the code that we are trying to provide now whenever the user clicks on the stop for the stop button click i simply say recognize async stop and then btn start dot enable equal to true and btn stop dot enabled equal to false now let's try to execute this application i click on start i say hello hello how are you doing open chrome thank you so now you can just try to understand that whatever the statement or i'm just able to speak it's recognizing those and it is trying to perform the functionality accordingly okay so hope you are clear with how to develop a voice recognition application using our c sharp in the next video i'll try to explain how to use an xml document to provide the grammar for our uh, voice recognition application and how to handle this if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel so that um, it gives me an encouragement for creating more and more videos thank you yours shaker